Hey guys, happy 2024, and uh, let's start the year off right by taking a look at this Atherin Genesis Prime for Grime uh, Trinity Cover Hopper decorated for Joseph Transportation right now. Okay guys, uh, we got a uh, Atherin Genesis um, Prime for Grime series car here. This is a uh, Trinity three bay cover hopper uh, decorated for Joseph Transportation Incorporated, an AGP car, and this is their Prime for Grime series. Um, now, fortunately, I was able to pick this car up on a deep discount. Um, uh, Mall Train Stuff had these on sale uh, back in November, I believe, for about 20, 24, 25 ish bucks. So, yeah, it's about half the price of a, of a, it's about half the selling price of an Atherin Genesis car in, in a lot of places. So, uh, yeah, pretty good deal on this car. So, uh, just kind of quick look at the box here. Nice sturdy box here. Very nice looking with the uh, gold lettering and trim right here. Looks very nice. Uh, you see the window right here showing the car inside. It's a nice protective cradle. Should protect them all very nicely in storage of transport. And we will go ahead and open this guy up here. Slide it out. Put our box to the side here. So there's the car. Again, nice clear plastic clamshell with the cover. Or cradle, I mean, not clamshell. A nice protective cradle with the uh, cover. Of course, you get your uh, little documentation right here with your Atherin newsletter. So let's just go ahead and slide the cover off. You got your slick paper to protect the car from scratches. And we will go ahead and slide this guy out here. So, lay this off to the side here. We can kind of zoom in on this. So let's just start right here at the front. Here, just like so. And I think what I'm going to do, there we go. Um, I think what I'm going to do here, we're going to turn the light on where you can see things a little bit. There we go. So, okay. Uh, start here at the front. Of course, you got a nice etched metal platform right here. There's your McHenry knuckle coupler. We'll change those out. Uh, I got a set of scale trains, uh, rivet counter couplers uh, from a leftover package. So I'm going to put those on this car where we'll still have the drop shelf coupler on here. But uh, we'll do that later on. Uh, there's your cut lever. You got your brake hose right there. It looks very nice. And that is simulated rubber. So it is a, a lot more flexible than the, uh, than the first uh, Gen Atherin Genesis uh, uh, Trinity hoppers from way back in the in the mid 2000s. Uh, I believe those had just a plastic. Yeah, they had just a plastic uh, air hose, and they were pretty bad to break off. So uh, back in those days, but this one here will take a little bit of hand, handling. Excuse me. So we'll move up here. There's your brake chain right there. Brake wheel right there. Looks very nice. Of course, you got a lot of freestanding grab arms right here. It looks really nice as well. All the plumbing for the brake, uh, brake piping in here looks very good. Come up to the top again. Printing and lettering looks very nice. Uh, there's your grab iron up top. You got H metal walkways right here. It goes over the top of this car, and we'll take a closer look at that when we fly over the top. Come down the side of this guy here. So there's your uh, 100 ton trucks with 36 inch wheels and you can see bearing caps do spin on this car looks very nice more freestanding grab irons right here on the side looks good there's your yellow conspicuancy stripes all the printing and lettering looks readable and legible under magnification and this is a prime for grime series car so uh the green is a lot lighter uh which shows the fade pretty good on this car and i'm gonna try and Raise that up just a little. We can see the roof of this car here. So that all looks good. I'll back that out just a little bit. There we go. So looks really good. Come down the side here. Again, printing and labeling looks very nice on here. There's large HEP lettering on here. Uh, there's the uh, DJTX markings for Joseph Transportation. Looks good. Your road number right here. All the data markings and everything. And again, like I said, everything readable and legible under magnification. Uh, 
more freestanding grab irons on this end right here. Of course, that X-Mel uh, walkway along the top there looks good. The hatches all look very nice. Come to the other end. Got some more uh, brake detail right there. Looks good. There's your coupler cut lever on that side. McHenry coupler. And your brake hose right there. And I'll try to touch that where I don't accidentally uh, break. Try not to break it. Yeah, you can kind of see it. You can kind of see it move right there. So it, is, it does have a little, at least a little bit of flexibility to it. And then, of course, there's your H-Metal platform right there as well. So that's, uh, that's a nice looking car right there. So we'll uh, come down the underside of it, take a quick look. Very, very nice right here. Looks really good. So, and of course you got some uh, decals right here. It's all nice and readable as well. So uh, detail all looks very, very good under this car. So we will come down the top of this guy right here and I'll try to grab this like so and show you the top. So there's the trough hatches right here looks good there's a better look at that HML platform looks very nice on this car right here just kind of slide down the top of this guy so yeah it looks really nice and of course there's the uh, supports for the uh for the bracket as well so that all looks really really good so yeah really nice car by Atherin. um really glad i picked this up glad it was on sale um that's gonna be a that's gonna be a fun one to run in a consist right there. So, um, so yeah, really cool car. So uh, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna pause the video and then I'm gonna show you real quick how to change the couplers on this car because we'll we'll actually do this uh, as part of the video as well. So hang on just a second. We'll be right back. Okay, just real quick before we get to the part where we change the couplers on that hopper. Uh, right here is the instructions and the exploded parts diagram on this car. So uh, there's a quick look at that if you guys want to have a look at it so yeah a lot of parts to this car <laughs> okay let's get to the let's get to the upgrades on this car okay so i'm going to show you kind of a neat trick here uh the one good thing about these Athern genesis boxes when you want to change the couplers or anything like that on these cars you can actually flip the car upside down and actually use the uh the cradle that the car rest normally rests in as kind of a uh, foam cradle where you can, or it's kind of a cradle to put the car upside down and do some work on it. That's if you don't have a foam cradle, you're like me in a area and you don't, uh, in a different location where you don't have a, all your tools to work with. So uh, we're going to go ahead and start by taking the truck off this guy here. And uh, you do still want to use great care. So what I'm going to do, just kind of show you guys how to do it. I'm going to put my uh, middle finger right here on this and then have my thumb kind of support the side of the car here so and i'm going to use a different screwdriver because that is not working so when in doubt sometimes you got to get creative and do some different stuff here so i'm going to take this truck off like so and you can see that uh, that comes off real nice and easy and then we'll And we'll probably have to go back to our Phillips screwdriver for this. So, and like I said, you, you want to be somewhat careful with this car. In fact, hang on just a second because that is being kind of a pain. So hang on, let me uh, try to break that screw loose right quick. Okay, so uh, what I actually ended up having to do, I actually had to physically pick up the car and hold it in my hand like so. And then use my screwdriver, which is magnetic and kind of press down, put some pressure on. That way I don't run the risk of doing any damage to the car that way. It's probably not the greatest way of doing it, but it's it's probably the safest way for me personally. So uh, your way would probably be better. But uh, So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my flat screwdriver and I'm going to carefully pry that off. And you see that moving right there, so... We do want to be at least a little careful here, so I don't uh, destroy the car, because I don't want to do that, so, okay. So we got the uh, McHenry coupler out, so now we're going to try and put 
And I'm scared to death this thing's going to have the well, couple or the uh, scale head springs in there. I'm going to have to try to. I'm going to have to try to do this. I'm working kind of a tight area, so. Okay, now let's try it and see what we got. Maybe now you guys can kind of see what I'm going to do here. So I'm just going to lift that up. We got our little spring right here. I'm going to try not to lose that, but there's a copper spring that goes with these uh, scale trains couplers. So we're going to try and put this guy in here. Okay, I'm going to say that's good enough, so we'll just repeat the steps for the other side now. say it looks pretty good so yeah okay guys uh we uh we got everything uh upgrade on this cart we're going to we got uh, new scale trains rivet counter couplers put on in place of the uh, plastic McHenry couplers right there there we go now you can see them better so uh yeah we replaced the plastic McHenry couplers with scale trains rivet counter metal couplers and i think that looks really good so yeah very very nice that looks great all right guys i'll take a look at the review hope you guys enjoyed it and we will catch you in the next video take care all bye for now